hi and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at the maths you'll need to answer any questions about pendulums. This is the way that I like my maths questions answered. If um, this is a bit confusing to you, I suggest you go back and look at my video on how to get the best marks in your exams. But very briefly, when I sit my students' maths questions, the first mark is for the formula, the second mark is for the working, the third mark is for the maths, and the fourth mark is for the units. And I've come up with this after marking lots and lots of GCSE exam papers. So this is the equation that we're going to be using in this video. The time period, which is measured in seconds, equals 1 divided by the frequency, which is measured in hertz. And when you are writing hertz um, and any other units in your exam, make sure you get your uppercase and your lowercase letters the right way around. Um, the examiners can deduct marks um, if you, for example, write this or write that. Both of those are wrong and will not get you the marks. That, however, will get you the marks. Um, the other thing you need to know for this video is that the time period is for the pendulum to swing across and back again. So our first question is, if the frequency of a pendulum is 3 hertz, what is the time period? So they've already told us that this is the frequency. Our equation is time equals 1 divided by frequency. So the time equals 1 divided by 3. So the time equals 1 divided by 3. 0.3 seconds. <coughs> the frequency of the pendulum is 0.5 hertz. Calculate the periodic time. So, oops. Time equals 1 over frequency. So time equals 1 over 0.5. So time equals 1 divided by 0.5 equals two seconds. So if it takes two seconds for one swing, we need to find out the number of swings in 60 seconds. We do 60 divided by two equals 30 swings. If pendulum takes six seconds to swing from left to right, find the frequency. Um, so we're starting to move into the higher tier um, type of questions here. I'd like you to pause and have a go for this yourself and then come back and have a look at the answers. So the first thing in this question you need to pick up is that we're only swinging from left to right in the six seconds. And your um, time period for pendulum is from one side and back again. So time and this actually equals 12 seconds. So time equals 1 over frequency. 12 equals 1 over the frequency. This is a higher tier question, so we can need to do a bit of rearranging. I'll go through it all. So 12 f equals 1. So f equals 1 divided by 12. So that equals 0.083. So a pendulum swings 10 times every 169 seconds, calculate the frequency. So we will need to know um, the time for one swing. So if it swings 10 times every 169 seconds, we need to do 169 divided by 10 equals 16.9 seconds equals the time period. For one swing. So time equals 1 over frequency, 16.9 equals 1 over f, 16.9 f equals 1, so frequency equals 1 divided by 16.9 equals 1 divided by 16.9, 0 0.05 five nine hats.